Hello, friends. Vince Burlap here. And this is the new GMC Canyon midsize pickup. It's an all new design, although it's hard to tell since pickup trucks seem to always look the same over the years. The huge plastic chrome grille is larger than ever, and the rest of it has that generic pickup design that truck lovers seem to relish. My grandfather used to say, who wants new when you can have old for the price of new? It's quite another story inside where it does look new and also very premium and attractive. At least in this luxury Denali version, the wood and leather trim might be fake, but they look good. Again, why get real when you can get fake for the same price? They even included a big Denali me name on the seats in case you forgot what it was, which is a nice touch. Well, everything seems luxurious at first. That feeling disappears quickly when you touch the top of the dashboard. A cheap and hollow sound is all you get. You soon realize that hard plastic is almost everywhere. There's a traditional automatic shifter with a useless manual gear control switch on its side. A charging phone tray with USB and USB-C plugs, which is nice. The console feels cheap, but the storage is quite roomy. And of course, the central armrest is not adjustable. Most car makers seem to be at war against adjustable armrests uh, these days. The rear seat is okay, but not as roomy as you'd think. Legroom is at a premium and taller than average. Humans could feel pain and distress, which could easily lead to violent thoughts. GM has a new infotainment system that is both confusing and frustrating, especially since their previous one was so good and easy to figure out. For instance, how do you access the radio? And where is the rear window locking switch? On the door? No. The window lock is now controlled from the screen and requires diving into a few menus. With all these switches and buttons all over the place, you would think one of them could control the lights. I mean, literally, switches everywhere. And another thing, while there is a convenient switch to control all windows at once, they can only go down. To close the windows, you have to go back to the door and use the regular individual switches. Now with the headlights, is the switch on the stock or dashboard? No! It's again on the screen within a couple of menus. Who is thinking of this nonsense? And how much are they getting paid? I want that job. Yes, the Denali version comes with a Bose sound system. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound great. And a few notes of my beloved Star Trek soundtrack suffered profoundly. Starting the engine reveals how rough and loud the big four-cylinder is. You feel vibrations through the seat, and you hear it all the time. Even when cruising on the highway, it is not a pleasant sound unless you are fond of vintage tractors. The agricultural racket might remind some of their childhood on the farm many years ago. For the rest of us, it is simply not acceptable, especially for what is trying to be sold as a luxury truck. The ride is another spectacular disappointment. The school bus you see here on the right lane is probably more comfortable than this $54,000 luxury truck. Even when the road seems pretty smooth, the new canyon does its best to make you feel like you're behind the wheel of an old ice cream truck. 
And that horrible engine noise gets quite tiresome after a while. How about listening to some radio, since the new GMC Canyon still offers satellite radio? Oh, no, that's CarPlay. Maybe this one. Music, by podcast, audiobooks. Where is the radio? Maybe the home button? Audio then? Oh no, I'm back where I started. Maybe something I missed on the home screen. Hmm. Audio again? What's this one? Ah, at least I see the word radio. I guess not. There will be no 70s on 7 for me today. Just tears and misfortune until I figure this out. And I will. <laughs>